Welcome back to Winnie Makes. My name is Callie, and today I am so excited to share with you my pumpkin spice chocolate chip cookie recipe. So, if you're anything like me and you are obsessed with this time of year, fall, autumn, Halloween and everything just kind of like apple and pumpkin spice and this recipe is right up your alley. It also happens to be incredibly simple. It takes no time to make and you're gonna love it and I can't wait to share it with you. But before we begin, as always, please remember to subscribe, like, share, chat in the comment section and follow me on social media for more recipes and additional content. So let's get right into it. These are the ingredients that we're gonna be using. So we have some granulated sugar, brown sugar, flour, baking powder, baking soda, melted butter, one egg, I have some vanilla in here as well. And here what I have is a little spice blend. I'm using some cinnamon, um, ground ginger, nutmeg, allspice. You could use any kind of warm pumpkin pie spices that you like. Some ground cardamom would be wonderful in this. You could even use um, like the prepackaged pumpkin pie spice that you buy at the grocery store. That works as you know, just as well as my spice blend. Also, I have some salt, and here what I have is a bar of dark chocolate that I have just roughly chopped. And what you're gonna get is some larger pieces of chocolate and some smaller pieces of chocolate, but it's really nice because the larger pieces that you get of chocolate are just bigger than what you get from uh, cho chocolate chips. Okay, so let's get into this. First things first, get your oven nice and preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit because this recipe is a quick one. It's not gonna take long to make at all. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start by combining all of my dry ingredients. So that's my flour, baking powder, baking soda, my spices, and my salt. And I'm just gonna give these a little whisk. Wonderful, so let's set this aside for a moment and work on our wet ingredients. So that is both types of sugar along with our melted butter. I'm using melted butter in this recipe and I use it in either melted butter or brown butter in almost all of my cookie recipes because what it does is it's gonna make this really chewy cookie. So not only is this cookie gonna be delicious and flavorful, it's also gonna have a really wonderful texture. Okay, next up, the egg and the vanilla. Going in. Alrighty then, so, I am just going to, before we proceed, take my spatula, just bring it around the bot bottom and the sides of the bowl just to make sure everything is nice and incorporated. Okie dokie. Moving on, next we're gonna add in our dry ingredients. Wonderful. And I'm just going to stir these to combine. Okay, this is ready to go. So next we're gonna just finish this up by adding our dark chocolate chips. And I forgot to mention, if you for whatever reason don't like dark chocolate, you can use semi-sweet chocolate. I just think that dark chocolate adds a really nice depth of flavor and I add it in a lot of cookies I make. So that's what I'll be using today. So this is looking good. I'm gonna clean up and then let's finish this up. Okay, so let's finish these off. What we're gonna do is apply the dough onto our baking sheet that's lined with parchment paper. I just like using an ice cream scoop because I think it's just an easy way to get the batter on here and it keeps the cookies somewhat uniform in size so they bake evenly, but you do not have to use this. So I'm just going to finish this up. Save this um, chocolate on the side just to kind of place it on the tops of these cookies. It just looks really beautiful when it bakes and also adds like even more chocolate if these cookies even need it and pop these into the oven for about nine or 10 minutes. The trick to the, t um, the perfect texture in a cookie is to underbake the cookies. And the reason for that is because once you take, take the cookies out of the oven, they're gonna continue to bake from the residual heat of the cookie itself and the pan. Again, I'm gonna pop this in the oven and I will show you what these look like when they're done. And I can't wait. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Honestly, you're gonna love this recipe. They're just so delicious. And as always, for the full written recipe and instructions, head to my blog, moonymakes.com. I'll put the link in the description box below. Click on the link. The recipe will pop right up and make these pumpkin spice chocolate chip cookies. I promise you're gonna love them. And let me know what you think because I would love to hear from you. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.